morning, good morning. Camping is fun to do, and I did it last night at Lost Lake Recreation Area Campsite. Finally got in. A little wet and damp out there, a little bit foggy this morning. You know, funny thing is, no one ever did come around to collect my money. But who knows? Let's see what happens on the way out. Some lady with a little light on top of her SUV just pulled up in front of me. Thought maybe she's gonna collect the fee. Yeah, here she comes. I think she's got a little pad of paper. Morning. All right, so I paid my $25. Good to go. Told her I was about to leave <laughs> after finish making my coffee. I was just going to pay if there's somebody at the front or just leave it in an envelope up there. But fortunately, a human came by. Oh. Almost forgot about my change. Back to more important pressing matters at hand. <laughs> I know, that was a bad pun, wasn't it? I'm sitting in the uh, Best Buy parking lot right now waiting for them to open. Apparently, they don't open until 11 o'clock, which it is precisely 11 o'clock and the doors just open. So I'm going to go into Best Buy. I want to see what kind of drones they have here at Best Buy. I know they have, typically they have the line of DJI products, which I want to stick with because I'm had a good relationship with DJI in the past so far with them replacing drones and this and that uh, so gonna go in there see what's what how much things cost I mean I pretty much know what's available online um, but I'm kind of one of those instant gratification kind of guys so if and when I decide to get a new drone I'm probably just gonna want to grab one day of have it and be able to use it. I really been missing that drone, especially over at Lost Lake Park yesterday. Would have loved to fly that. Amazing sunset. It's always cool to see the sunset from an aerial perspective. So I'm gonna pop in here at Best Buy, see what's what. The Mini 2. Mavic Air 2 is gone. Oh, here's the Mavic Air 2. The Mavic 2. The Mavic Zoom. Yeah, just a quick little pop into Best Buy. Gave me some food for thought, though. Meantime, I'm hungry. Oh no, Tacos El Nene is not here today. Oh man, bummer. Very disappointed Tacos El Nene is not open right now, today. They move around, do catering sometimes, so that's fine. Gives me the opportunity to check out this spot. Taco Landia, I believe is called. I've driven by this several times. First time I'm gonna try it out. There's that thing that happens and you get tacos on the brain. All you can think about is eating a taco. So I'll give these guys a try. It's a pretty cool spot. They got this outdoor seating area. 
it, it's a little bit windy out right now and a little bit loud because I'm right next to Shaw. This place is on the corner of Shaw and Minnewawa. If you're in Clovis, come check it out. Oh, oh, this looks awesome. All right, let's get in here. Woo wee! This looks amazing. Oh, close off that noisy outside world, right? Turn on my little light up here. All right, look at this. Oh my gosh. Man, they did it up. This is the cheese taco. Whoa, dripping. And just a regular old mini street tile. Street, <laughs> street tile. A mini street tile. Street style taco. Very good. Taco Landia, I believe it's called. Yum, 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 Arone. The uh, tacos El Nene. I mean, they're 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 right there, like two Super Bowl champion teams. Really starting to get the hang of transitioning from the back to the front with little effort, and it's all because I got rid of that big giant cooler that I used to have up here. Very glad I was able to get rid of the cooler and to give it to some young folks that wanted to have a little party chest. Okay, so it's a tad bit windy and I'm right next to a main road right here. So it might be a little bit loud. I'll try and speak up so you can hear. I wanna talk about paper towels. Yeah, I know. Super interesting topic, isn't it? <laughs> but it's something that everybody uses, paper towels. You gotta have them, right? I got a roll right here. Everybody in the van uses paper towels. What do I have it on? I have a little, got a handy little paper towel holder right here. But look at this. I mean, this thing is super annoying half the time. I always try and put it down, it's not there. Then I hit this thing and it's like, ah! But this thing has been driving me insane. What am I replacing it with? Something very similar in shape and size, but in quality of materials, greatly different. Now, I'm taking a little bit of inspiration from the shelf that I built using PVC pipe. No, I'm not using PVC pipe for it. I'm using pipe pipe, real hard hitting pipe. That's right. So I got half inch pipe. I have a fastener. I have a cap. We'll just put that on right away. Yeah, get that on there nice and tight. What else do we have here? I'm thinking, <laughs> there it is. Got half inch right angle. Yeah two and a half inch, half inch spacer. And of course that goes to the wall hanger, the mount, whatever you want to call it. And I want this to, I want this on there tight as can be. So that's it right there, super simple. That's the old one there. And I got the new one right here. A little bit taller, which shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's install. First, we're gonna remove this and then just drill this guy in there. Pretty sure I got this at Walmart. Probably didn't pay very much for it. I tried to fix it once. See, the problem is it just spins around here. One, 
two, three, four. Very secure. Okay, now we got some play in it that I've put this in here. So I'm gonna get my wrenches out, make sure this is as tight as I can make it. Where are my towels at? Boom. And it's not like you can really see what it's made out of, except for at the top here. But I know, and that's what is important. Oh man, I'm so happy that I was able to finally fix the paper towel holder and come up with a creative solution with which to do so. Now all the parts, little pipe fittings and everything, I got at Loa's. And I mean, you know, each part is a couple dollars, so all in all I spent $15 for the paper towel holder, which probably about what I'd spend anyways, 10 to 15 bucks. And this one is I mean, it's so sturdy, it's not going anywhere. And even if somehow something happened to any of the parts, they're easily replaceable. I'm not just gonna throw it away and replace it again. That's there to stay. One other thing of note happened today besides fixing the old Dilly Dally paper towel dispenser holder roller. After camping last night at Lost Lake, recreation area at the campground there, I decided I'm no longer paying $5 pay to play at these parks. I went ahead and I called the Fresno Parks Commission office, uh, listed on their website, and for $40, four zero, you can get an annual pass, so you don't have to pay the entrance fee. Definitely have to keep paying for camping if you wanna do that. But you're supposed to go down to their office and do it, but their offices are closed to the public. They're still inhabited with human beings on some level. And so I called in, told him what I wanted to do. He took a message, said someone would call back. About 20 minutes later, a gentleman called me back from the county parks office, took down my information. I paid using a debit card and now in the mail coming to me in the next week is not only a National Parks Pass, $80, but also Fresno County Parks Pass for $40. Now $40 may or may not seem like a lot of money to you for day use park pass, but considering it's $5 every time you enter one of these parks, I've already gone one, two, three, four, five, at least five times, six probably times. All right, seven times pays for itself. So I'm gonna stop even having to worry about that I have $5 on hand if randomly I'm in the area and decide, hey, let's go check out this day use park or let's just hang out there today. Now I don't have to worry about it. Slowly I'm evolving and learning to live a better version of my life in my van. One day at a time, slow little improvements, little changes, additions, subtractions, and learning. If you're not learning, you're not growing. And I want my van life to grow into the best it can be. So starting to get these park passes, day use parks, national parks, things like that, I think it's really gonna make my explorations a lot more interesting, more fun, and it really open up a whole new world of possibilities of places I wouldn't normally go to if I had to balk at, oh, $25 entrance fee? Ha no more! So, I'm looking forward to those coming in the mail. <laughs>